avoid it. Brethren, let's approach the tone of this and pray for the forgiveness of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, O oh God of mercy, let your mercy prevail over my life. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy prevail over my life. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy prevail over my life. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy, in the name of Jesus, let your mercy prevail over my life. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, you the heaven of this morning's service. Open by fire. Open by fire. Open, 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 open. In the name of Jesus. Open by fire in Jesus' name. Open, 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 open. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, Holy Spirit of the living God, empower all the pastors and the ministers assigned to minister in this morning's service. In the name of Jesus. Empower them. In the name of Jesus. Say it. Empower the ministers in this assembly. Say it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's lift up our hands and worship the King of kings and the Lord of law. Just wave your hands and appreciate him. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Just appreciate him. Father, we give you all the glory. Yeah. Father, we worship your name. We thank you for this beautiful morning. Father, we thank you. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God. Almighty God, I love be thy name. Ha. Your dominion is forever, forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, we Son of God, Son of God. Hey, you, are so good. you are so good. On my feet, oh Lord, who call I love thee. I love the name of Forevermore, Adonai, Adonai, we worship you. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Hope you are going to worship him. Son of God, you are so good. You are so good to us. Oh, Lord, who call Hallow be the name is more Jesus, Ibare Baba. Oh, 
Holoria, yeah. Ibarre oba, oni aju barre. Hey, omo, omo lonu, omo lonu ba ba. You are the mighty God, and it are to be you. You are the glorious God. We can wave your hands and appreciate Him. He holds the power in both heaven and on earth. Father, we thank you, Jesus. All around, I like my right. I recall she said, Mirror, oh, Unto you, my God. How we sing, how we dance to you. You will be my hair forever and ever. In the morning when I wake up, I will sing my praise unto you, my God. How we sing, how we dance to you. You will be my hair forever and ever. In the 
we thank you for giving us another beautiful Sunday. We thank you because with all the tides in this nation, you are our shield and buckler. You continue to move us alive forward. And the church moves on so also the gate of hell cannot prevail over it. Blessed be your holy name. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. As we gather down to thy feet this morning to learn from you. Let the Holy Spirit of the living God teach us from heaven above in the mighty name of Jesus. And our life will increase in value in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let our living so say our living. Amen. Amen. Brethren, you are welcome here in this uh, beautiful Sunday. It is time to start the scripture. And we are going to lesson four. We are starting lesson four this morning. And the lesson four is on page 37 of our booklet. If you are yet to have this booklet, you can still uh, get one outside there. You can still get it. And the way of holiness, we can still get it out there. Lesson four. The divine standard of God's holiness and divine provisions for holiness. There is divine standard of God's holiness. There is standard in the way of men. There is standard in the way of the world. But God has his own standard of holiness and his divine provision for the holiness is there for us to claim. And these are what we are going to look at in this lesson four as we proceed. Let us, uh, let us look at the memory verse. It says, be ye therefore perfect, <coughs> even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. You can look at the word perfect. That is when you are okay in every area of your life, when everything is like God in every area of your life. You look at it, can I, it can't, can, can I be possible? I'm a man, uh, I have flesh, I have blood, and uh, I have emotion, mind, and my will at all times cannot be perfect, right? What this place is saying is, it's not equating us with God. Your child, the way your child will think differs to the way you will think. As a matter of fact, when the air then you correct them in love. But you know that uh, they may be mistakenly uh, So what God is saying is that uh, we should look unto Jesus Christ as, as our perfect example and we move towards him. <clears throat> Let us open up. And that one is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 48. And we are quickly going to look at Psalm 24. We are reading verse 3 and 4. And it says, Psalm 24, Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. <laughs> we can see that uh, all these are those, the, the, the prevalent things that are around now. Who shall, as, who shall stand in the holy place of the Lord? He that hath clean hands. That is, before your hands can be, we are not talking about these physical hands. Or oh, mostly our hands are clean when you get out there. there is, sometimes we even use a um, sanitizer and all that. So we are not talking about your physical hand, your spiritual hands. The, it's, it's, it has connotation with your spiritual man. When your spiritual man is okay, that is when your hands is clean. Your hands is clean maritally, uh, financially, physically. You are not duping people. You are not duping your children. You are not duping your wife. You are not cheating. You are, you are, you, that means your hand is clean in that area. So that's what we are talking about, about here. Not the physical hands that you want to eat, uh, that you want to use to eat uh, aku or eba. Then... And who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity. The vanity of this world is so much now. Uh, people are just running after vanity, after position, after ambition. And everything ends here. It ends here. It doesn't go to anywhere. You came with nothing. And you are going with nothing. And the day you are going, you are, you are going either it is rapture, 
Either it's being buried, you are going with nothing. The day Jesus Christ we are sent, we come down to come and pick us. You are going with nothing. You just, you just leave everything. You just go like that in the twinkle of an eye. As the Bible says it in that particular, uh, First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 down. So, it, and if one dies, they bury, and that's just the end. So, with all this particular ambition and everything, but now we are aggravating, and that is what we are clamoring for. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to be that. I want to be this. And that one is shocking the love of God out of our life. And in that area, are you perfect? That is what this place is saying. We are quickly going to look at first one of our texts, First Peter chapter 1. First Peter chapter 1. Let us open our Bible there. First Peter chapter 1, I quickly want to read verse 14 to 16. As obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former loss in your ignorance. The former loss, <coughs> when we are yet to accept Jesus Christ. The former loss, when you are not a born again. And he's saying, you do not fashion yourself like that when you are in the world. Verse 15, says, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, in our conversation, in our dealings, in at home, in our place of work, even in the church. Mostly we are we are mostly very holy when we are in the church. Uh, we talk and we we move like reference, and uh, we we do everything like uh, holy holy father. And uh, but when we go out there, what about our our utterances, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. That God Almighty is holy, and he has standard. His standard does not change. It doesn't change. The everlasting standard that have been there is still the standard till now. In our introduction, you say, God's divine provision for holiness are the step given by God to be taken by his children to attain the level of holiness that he requires of them. What we are still going to look at all the, the definition of all these terms, that is, there is divine provision for us. There is provision for us. It's like a good father or good parent. When you have a child, you have provision to send that particular child to school. Now, if the child is not ready and the child drops out, some people drops out, they drop out, it's not because the government is not ready to send them, it's not because their parents are not ready to send them to school, but they drop out. You are not going to be a dropout child of God in Jesus' name. I am not going to be a, a, a dropout child of God in Jesus' name. So there are divine provision. We just need to tap into it. So you don't look at it, look, I cannot be perfect. No, there are divine provision for it to make us perfect in the presence of God. We are quickly going to look at definition of some terms, uh, the divine standard of, of God's holiness and God's divine provision for holiness. Divine, what is divine? When it is sacred, or devoted to God Almighty. When anything happens and it, it's from God Almighty, it is, listen, it is God's provisions that wake you up this morning. It's not your alarm. It's not your alarm clock. You put alarm clock by the side of somebody that is dead, that they, they will not wake up. So it is by divine providence of God. So it is, what is divine is from God. When it proceeds from God, it comes out of God's a merciful will, and that is when it is divine. Let us look at standard. What is the standard? That is, we want us to understand all this particular term. So as we go in into this particular lesson, we'll be able to key in into the divine standard of God's provision for holiness. An approved model. An approved model. What is a model? That something that is being placed for us to look at, like Jesus Christ. Like our mentor, your mentor is a model. It's a model you are looking onto. You know, oftentimes you look at some people and you want to speak like him. You want to you want to behave like him. A lot of people even copy our preachers. When preacher preaches, they want to copy him. They want to sound like that. When, when you when you hear them, like, this person is a copy so 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 preacher. I you know because that person they look at him as their model, like they are like their mentor. It's a rule or principle that is used as a basis for just, uh, oh, uh, when it's a rule or principle that is used as a basis for judgment, what you said, yes, I am setting this standard, 
this person is reading this way. I want to follow the way he teaches. I want to follow the way he behaves. I want to follow the way he works. Oftentimes, when we are in school in those days, we look at neat teachers. We want to dress like them. We set them as, they are, as our model. We want to walk like them. Some of, you, some of us, we are still working like our teacher or somebody that we want to resemble in those days. So that is what we call, a, we set a standard. The, the moral, which is, uh, 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 which is the, the, the practice that we did, something that we think that is right. Ethics and habits, the practice that we want to set for ourselves. The practice, some people, they, 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 they put in, they copy a bad ethics when they are very young and they now they could not change it. Maybe it's physical like the way they used to work and something like that. If you see someone who, had, who wanted to be uh, a, a boxer when he was young, you know, they, they normally do like this because because of the way they are going to carry their hands. That is an ethics for them. They set it. God has ethics. He has model for us. He has moral that he wants you to take in so as to manage your life and become holy. Then, let us, uh, we, we've had so much about holiness, but let's quickly uh, look at how it's been defined here. Sanctity, consecration, devoutness, godliness, Purity, righteousness, spirituality, sinlessness. That when you know that this particular person is going to give you fear hearing. They will say, if you go to the person, you are going to have fear hearing from this person. This person, uh, the, the, the sanctity is okay. His sanctity is okay. He's thinking about, the God, about God and what he's going to tell you, and you know that uh, it is okay. That is being holy. Then, the divine standard, let us look at uh, what standard God has said. Listen, God has a standard, and the standard of God does not change. The standard that God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob has, is still the same standard. The same standard he has with the apostle are your Baba Lola. You see, the same standard is used, uh, he used to judge Dr. Daniel Kola Wale Ulukoya. You see, the same standard he is using for both me and you uh, that you are not, you are not, you are not, you are not apostle. You are, I don't know, maybe you have given yourself a title somehow, but as you are seated, that particular same standard that he has for Abraham, that Abraham that we used to hear, our father in faith. That standard, it doesn't change it. It is the word that changes their standard. God doesn't change standard. He still maintains a standard. You can change whatever you like. You can behave whatever you like. God is where he is. He doesn't change standard. No, God is called only Lord. Then, God is of pure eyes than to behold evil. He cannot behold evil. So, God's standard is still there. And we've just got to maintain it. You cannot say because they are, they, are, they are dressing this way today and maybe God has changed the standard because they are talking this way today because they, 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 they can do, they can eat anything now and God has changed the standard. And yeah, now because I'm a woman, I can now pierce my nose and pierce this and God doesn't look at that. He look at inside of, no, 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 no. God doesn't change the standard. The standard he used to judge Sarah, you see the standard he's using to judge you women. The standard he used to judge Abraham, you see the same standard. He does not move. May God help us to maintain good standard in him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to close your eyes and pray like this. Say, Holy Spirit divine. Help me to be holy and help me to be perfect unto the Lord. In the mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Brethren, if you have testimonies to share with the people of God, our ministers are waiting for you to interview you. We proceed with the service of this morning as we sing from our MFM hymn book, hymn number 1093. 1093. Christians seek not yet repose. Hear thy guardian angel say, Thou art in the midst of foes. Watch and pray. In 1093. Shall we please rise? Shall 
Shall we go? Christian, seek not yet repose. Hear thy guardian angel say, Thou art in the midst of foes. Watch and pray. Principalities and past must in their seat are Wait for thy unguarded us. Watch and pray. Congregation alone stands at three. Congregation still stands at four. Everybody together stands at five. Yeah, above all, hear thy Lord, in thy love is to obey. Hide within thy heart is what, watch and the last stanza, everybody together. Watch as if on that alone. On the issue of the day, pray that help may be set down. Watch and pray. Amen. Good morning, church. It's Bible reading time. Let's bring out our Bibles. It's Bible reading time. Let's bring out our Bibles. And open to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 4, verses 28 to 37. The book of Daniel, chapter 4, verses 28 to 37. I believe we are there. I read in Jesus' name. All this came upon the king Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of the twelfth month, he walked in the palace of the king of Babylon. Verse 30. The king spoke and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power? And for the honor of my majesty, while the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven, saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from you. 32. And they shall drive you from men, and your dwelling shall be with the beast of the field. They shall make you eat grass as over you until you know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will. 33. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar, and he was driven from men, and did eat grass as oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven, till his ears were grown like eagle's feathers, and his nails like bell's claws. 34. And at the end of the day, I, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes to heaven, and my understanding returned to me, and I blessed the most high, and I praised and honored him that lives forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and it does according to his will in the army of heaven, and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand, or say to him, what do you? 36. 
at the same time my reason return to me. And for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and brightness return to me. And my counselors and my Lord sought to me. And I was established in my kingdom. And excellent majesty was added to me. 37, which is the last one. Let's take it together. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven. All whose work are truth and his waste judgment. And those that work in pride he is able to abase. May God bless the reading and hearing of his word in Jesus' name. Let's say this prayer like this. Say, Holy Spirit, kill every spirit of pride in me and overshadow me with the spirit of humility. In the name of Jesus.
shout it loud, hallelujah. Jump up on your feet and shout it loud, hallelujah. Lift up your two hands as we are going to shout it with fire in your spirit. Say, oh God, arise. Baptize me with your fire. In the name of Jesus, baptize me now with your fire, with your fire. Let's glorify his holy name.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory. Bless us this morning and do awesome things in our lives. Our lives will never be the same again. And we will always be careful to return thanksgiving to you. Have your way in our midst today. Heal the sick and deliver the oppressed. Open the eyes of the blind. Let the lame walk with their two legs. Let the sick be well. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has lost anything in this service. Lord, before this service is over, let them recover all. They must recover all. Every enemy putting their legs on your breakthrough. We cut it off in the name of Jesus. Every enemy raising their hands against you, we cut it off in the name of Jesus. Any power that has vowed that this is how far you will go and no more. Let the ground open up and swallow them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody shout a loud amen. Amen. Please, let's have a seat. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome to the presence of the Almighty God. May the presence of the Almighty God do an amazing thing for you in Jesus' name. May you never return back with any sickness. May you never return back with any problem. May the Almighty God give you the desire of your heart. Amen. May you sit on the seat the enemy never expected you to sit. Amen. May you be found in the place when if the enemy sees you, their heart will have cardiac arrest. Amen. May your, your testimony be the talk of the town. Amen. May your next breakthrough be bigger than all the breakthrough you ever received. May the God who suddenly opened book of remembrance, may he remember you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every pending issues before you now shall receive attention. Every problem that is making your heart to beat will be solved today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that has made your head to be bowed, heaven will solve it today. That fear in your heart, it shall never be. In the name of Jesus. The plan and the purposes of the enemy over your life is hereby aborted. You started this year, you will end this year. You will not end it in disaster. You will not end it in sorrow. 
you will not end it in tragedy. Any evil calendar that has been programmed into this year, you will be exempted. Every day of sorrow that has been programmed into any calendar of this year, you are exempted. Every tragedy that cannot be avoided, that is already programmed, you will never be victim. In the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will do amazing things for you. Say good amen to that prayer. Heaven will clothe you with the garment of glory. I pray for somebody whose amen will be the most loudest. The Almighty God will clothe you with garment of honor. Those who are going about to see that you are disgraced, they are disgraced. We envelop them. I pray for somebody here. The kind of song you have never sung after the order of Hannah. After the order of Hannah, for many years, this woman couldn't sing. But one day she sang. I pray for somebody hearing me today. That song that you have not sung, you will sing it now. You will surely dance your dance. You will sing your song. You will dance your dance. You will sing your song. You will dance your dance. Uh, when they are looking for who is successful, you will be the one. When they are looking for Christian who is healthy, you will be the one. Your heart will not trouble your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody. The enemy will not use your children to trouble your life. So shall it be. Somebody say loud amen. amen. This morning we are looking at what I tied to prayer that may not be answered. And there are prayers that will not be answered. And that's the, the topic we want to share together. Prayers that may not be answered. Prayer occupies a strategic place in the life of believer. Everybody prays. Believer prays. Home believer prays. Born again prays. Church goer prays. Religious people prays. Buddhist. Muslim, traditionalist, even in all court gathering, they also have their own kind of prayers. For prayer, for, for, for believers, you say prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. You say prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. That hymn writer says, sweet heart of prayers. Sweet hearts of prayer that calls me from my world of care and beats me at my father's throne. So make all my wants and wishes know. He said, in season of distress and grief, he said, my soul as often found relief and often escape the tempter's snare and by thy return. Sweet heart of prayers. Sweet heart of prayers. Sweet heart of prayers that calls me from the world of care and beats me at my father's throne. 
make all my wants I wish this no in season of distress and grief my soul that often found relief and all escape that tempt a snare by that return sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer that joy I flee that bliss I share of those whose eyes shall spirit born with strong desire for that return we start I haste into the place where God my Savior shows his face and gladly tear my station there and where for this we are understands I say sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer that wind shall my petition bear to him most truth and faithfulness and get thy waiting so to bless and since he bids me seek his face Believe his words and trust his grace. I cast on him my head, forget, bind our days with our prayers. African pastors, when they had an encounter with this white man, mindfully use of God. He came visit one of the African countries. So they have the opportunity to see him. They said they were going to ask him, what is the secret of this great work that God is using you to do? He said, we are not asking you to come and preach to us. We are also preachers. We can preach. But tell us the secret. What is the secret of your success? They all have their pen and papers. Wanting to hear the secret of this man and his true prayers. Whatever that is not working in your life, no matter how bad the situation may be, can be cut through prayers. Prayer can reverse the irreversible. Prayer is very powerful. But then, there are prayers that God will not answer. I will list a few of them. And then, there's zero in on one of them in this service. Then the second service will zero in on another one. Because there are prayers that God will not answer. There are prayers that you pray is a waste of your time. There are prayers that you pray, it doesn't amount to anything. The people from the East, they call it a fulevu. A fulevu means it's nothing. Zero. It's nothing. No life. No gain. May you not pray such prayers. Number one, prayer that will not be answered. A prayer that lacks faith. Brothers and sisters, faith is an ingredient for God to answer your prayer. In fact, the Bible says, he that cometh to God must believe that he exists and that is a rewarder of those that diligently seeking. So if you are praying and there is no faith in the prayer and you will know if there is no prayer, if there is no faith after the prayer, are you still worried? Is 
Are you still worrying? It shows that there is no faith in that prayer. Number two is wrong motive. What is the motive for asking what you are asking for? You say, Lord, give me money. Give me money. So that I can show them. No, God doesn't give money for competition. He said, Lord, I will dress to keep them in this, in this time. If you bless me. That, that means God won't bless you. Because God didn't want you to dress to kill another person. So the motive is already wrong. Number three. A prayer that is contrary to his will, God will not answer. You know the will of God? If you are praying and the prayer is contrary to his will, that prayer will not be answered. You are praying for God to give you second, to help to give you permission to marry second wife or third wife, as the case may be. What will be the answer? No. No. The prayer that God will not answer is prayer you pray which does not agree with the word of God. The prayer that God will not answer is the prayer you pray and the word that is coming out of your mouth is contrary to your prayers. I hope you know that there are people after they pray these certain prayers, then look at what they are saying with their mouth. It, the man just prayed for healing. But now he's confessing sickness. The God will not answer that prayer. Prayer you pray with bitterness, Anger, unforgiveness. Do you know how many people who are wasting their time? Husband and wife, they just fought now. Then the next thing is, is praying. Without peace, without reconciling, without making peace with one another. It's a prayer that God will not answer. Prayer that is prayed in fear, God will not answer it. Remember the story of that person? Woke up in the dead night to hear the noise of something vibrating inside the room. He quickly concluded that demon had visited the house. Jumped up on the bed and started to vibrate and pray. Pray for any time he wants to stop the prayer, the thing will say, the thing will drop green like that. Then he will increase the prayer. He will increase the prayer. And he ended up praying from 12 to 6 o'clock. You know, at that time, light was, you know, coming to the... Then he went and checked. It was the fridge that developed fault. You can see now. I prayed for six hours. But the prayer was in fear. It was a prayer of faith. It was prayer of fear. Prayer that is prayed. In fear, God will not answer. Prayer of vain repetition. The Bible says uh, it will not be answered. The prayer of a religious man. You know, religious people. They say, oh God, you that have long, 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 long hands. What is the meaning of that? Prayer of idolatry, prayer of idolatry, or idolatry prayers. Uh, prayer that you are praying, you already know what you wanted to do. You already said what you wanted to do. You, just, you, just, you are just praying for praying's sake. You don't mean what you are saying. God will not answer the prayer. Prayer that is pray. Half-heartedness. God will not answer such prayer. That's why prayer is a serious business. Colossians chapter 4, verse 20, he say you must labor. You see, in prayer you exert energy. You burn energy. So any prayer you are praying, 
and your mind is divided. Half-heartedness. Such prayers will not be answered. Prayer that God will not answer is general prayer. No general prayer. Oh, God bless me. Bless you with what? That was the prayer blind black Bartimaeus was praying. It was a general prayer. You need to be specific. What do you want God to do? Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do? Of course he was blind, but Jesus still asked him. So prayer must always be specific. What do you want? Such prayers that is just specific, I mean just general. God will not answer such prayers. Prayer that lack persistent, God will not answer it. Prayer that you are not praying in the right way, God will not answer such prayers. Prayer that is not fervent, God will not answer such prayers. James chapter 5, verse 16. But the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. Those, those are the prayers God will answer. The next one is meaningless prayer. Prayer that does not have head, does not have tail. God will not answer that prayer. Prayer of an unstable Christian. You rise today, you fall tomorrow. God will not take such people serious. Prayer of unstable Christian. God will not answer such prayer. Prayer that God will not answer selfish prayer. Prayer that is selfish. Prayer that you just want to have it to consume it upon your lust. Bible says God will not answer such prayer. Next, prayer that you are praying and you are sleeping in between. God will not answer that prayer. Prayer that you pray to impress people. God will not answer that prayer. You know the, such, that kind of prayer? The prayer that somebody will be throwing big, 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 big just to impress. God will not answer such prayer. Prayer you pray without focus. God will not answer such prayers. Prayer you are praying but you are saying nothing. You know there are people like that. They are shaking their head. You see them shaking it. But they are not, they are not saying anything. God will not answer such prayer. The Bible says the prayer of a proud man. God will not answer such prayers. All of these people that are praying, but are not praying in the right way, God will not answer such prayers. Prayer of somebody who is only interested in prayer, but they are not interested in their spiritual life. You know, there are people like that. They are just prayer marchant. They say, Pastor, it's prayer. Don't preach in prayer. Don't. Just let's start praying. They are not interested in the word of God. They are not interested in building their spiritual life. They are not interested in correcting their lives. They are not interested in correcting their weaknesses. The only thing they want to is say, when are we going to start praying? When are we going to start praying? Such people, God will not answer their prayer. Prayer you pray without giving glory to God. God will not answer such prayers. We're told that when you want to enter the presence of God, you come with thanksgiving. But you ignore that. And started marshalling your prayers. God will not answer such prayers. Prayer, you pray without acknowledging God. Without observing heavenly protocol. Without giving him his regard and his due. Praise him. Or giving thanks to him. Or appreciating him, such prayers will not be answered. And there are people who get crash 
into the house of God, into the presence of God. No thanking him, no appreciating him. The next thing is to start firing prayer. Start firing prayer. God will not answer such prayers. And the next prayer that God will not answer is the prayer of sinners. And that's where we're going to dwell this morning. In Psalm 66, verse 18. Psalm 66, verse 18. Psalm 66, verse 18. It says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the law will not hear me. Can we read it together? Can we say it one more time? If I regard the iniquity in my heart, the law will not hear me. Anyone that wants to pray must be sure that there is no sin. Sin is the number one enemy of prayer. God hates sin. Sin is the reason why many, many prayers are not answered. And so if you are here this morning, he said, before you cry, I will answer you. So if you want God to answer you, even before you make your petition, then you must check your life. Is there sin in any department of your life? Imagine a sinner. Imagine somebody praying. Has prayed for two hours. Has prayed for three hours. But is living in sin. What a waste of energy. What a waste of calorie. What a waste of effort. Is a effort in futility. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. It will bring nothing as far as God is concerned. God does not answer the prayer of a sinner. The prayer of a sinner, as far as God is concerned, is an abomination before God. Please, let me remind you that God doesn't answer our prayers on the basis of eloquence or grammatical uh, perfection or whatever or grammatical formula. No, 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 no. When sin comes into this issue, the Bible says sin will create wars according to Isaiah chapter 59 verses 1 and 2. It says sin will create war, a wall or barrier. You know war? Wall is a barrier. That cannot be penetrated. He says, sin will put a wall between you and your God. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. He says, behold, the Lord's hands is not shutting. That it cannot save. Neither is his hair heavy that he cannot hear. Verse 2 says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sin have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Please, that's where I want you to please imagine. This verse of the scripture, just, you know, become a dramatist now. Imagine a wall in between somebody. That's exactly what happens. Just imagine a wall between you and somebody. The person is unable to hear you. The person is unable to see you. 
he doesn't even see what the, the expression of your face is. Because there is a war. You shouted, you are making noise, you are crying, you are tearing yourself, you are you know, jumping up and down, you are making noise, but he's not hearing you. Sin is bad. Greatest tragedy in our world today is that the Bible says there are people who are swimming in sins. The Bible says there are people who are hiding sins to sin. In fact, if this world is not judged, God will have to apologize for Sodom and Gomorrah. Because the, the present state of the world, we have broken all records. Broken the record of Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, we have broken records. <laughs> broken records. Of all those places. The world seems to be going further, 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 deep, deep, deep in sin and iniquity. Sin creates sin turns blessings to cursing. Sin makes makes fruitfulness fruitful places to become desolate places. Sin drags glorious destiny in the mud. Sin is a waste of destiny. It's a waste of glorious destiny. Sin is the reason why many Christians are living a hard life. Sin is the reason why I see, I see many Christians are, are often. As if they don't have God. As if they don't have Father. Sin will bring loss of confidence. Anytime you see somebody who is sinning, and his confidence. Something is gone wrong somewhere. Sin will bring lots of confidence. You can't find a sinful person having his sense of confidence before God. It brings sense of condemnation. It hinges your spirits. The sense of confidence to stand before God. As, uh, unless Satan has finished with that person. You just commit immorality, you just commit fornication, and then the next thing you are praying. It's not doesn't happen. It, it, sin will fill you with sense of guilt. Lost of energy. Look at the look at the destiny of Samson. The man whose birth was announced by the angel. A man who was heavily endowed, the most powerful human being that ever exists on this planet Earth. Samson was so strong that he, conf he single-handedly confronted a thousand soldiers and dislodged them and finished them. He was such a powerful man. He was an anointed man. The secret of his strength, nobody knows. Anytime this man is confronted with danger, there is this power from within that rose up to defend him. Anytime this, the life of this man is faced with danger, you know, the Bible says one day, he came and told his, his father and the mother, he said, I found a girl somewhere, he said, you have to follow me there. The father challenged him and said, ah, you forgot the vow that uh, the, the angel came to say about you that you, you mean you can't find a get among the Israelites and marry? He said, no, 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 no. That's the person I love. I, I'm feeling love. I'm feeling love. And that's what people say today. I'm feeling love. <clears throat> I'm feeling love. They say love is blind. But marriage will open it. <laughs> yes. So, well, the parents, they, there was nothing they could do. You know, you know, there are children that will have their way, even now. They look at their parents and say, look, look, look. I'm a university graduate. <laughs> you, where, where's your own university? University of Pandediam uh, and all of that. And so, we, we, we are still universal. So, but you see, those men, those your parents, they are custodians of wisdom. They have lived this world before you. They've been around for some time. They have seen things. You know, they have seen things. They may not go to university, 
but they are seeing things. And there is a school of experience. As far as this world is concerned, they've been here for a long time. So you are just, you are just been around. So they still can advise you. And so if they are telling you this thing, this one, this one, please, you better listen. Anyway, so the parents, they follow Samson. And they were going in this narrow path. Samson told his parents, I want to go and ease myself. And he went into the bush to go and ease himself. And while he was in the bush to ease himself, the Bible says, lion, roared him. The same thing, that thing that was inside Samson, that thing that was there. Himself didn't know how that thing came. The thing rose up. The Bible said, if you read that Bible very well, the Bible said he confronted that thing and he killed it. Ah, human being, kill lion. Ah, it's not ordinary. You know the, the way the Bible reported it? The Bible said he did not tell his parents. When he came back, it was just a normal thing to him. The journey continued. Ah. What kind of a man is this? Ah. He didn't cause he didn't cause CNN. Because it was a normal thing to him. If it wasn't a normal thing, I would have told, told his parents that when I went inside now, you know, you see, see what happened. But it was a normal realm for him. It was a normal thing for me. It happened too often. Such was the man. But because this man chose to live his life in sin, he had, I hope you have read your Bible. There was it a time that Samson prayed. It was all about movement. It was all about actions. Please beware of men and women. The whole thing about them is just talking, no, no prayer. Just action, no prayer. No prayer. You will never read in the Bible apart from when his eyes was gone. That was when, for the first time. And the Bible said, Samson, you know the story, what befell him. He thought he was in love. He saw this beautiful girl called Delilah. He's been moving from one girl to another. That's why, if you are listening to me now, uh, all sins look alike. I'm telling you. All of them look alike. It will look as if, well, I will conquer this one too. I will conquer this one. You've been conquering them. You, you do, one day, it will conquer you. That was what happened to Sam's. This Delilah, he thought that it would be one of those Guess. But this one was different. Samson claimed that he was in love, but Delilah was in business. You can see the two at cross purposes. They are not in the same page. This one came for money because they told, the, they told her how much she's going to take to the bank if the mission succeeds. So this woman was ready to make a success. You know the story? Eventually, it got him. The Bible said that Samson said, I will rise up like I've always rose up. But this time around, the Bible says, power have left him. May power not leave you. Yeah. Power have left him it means so many things God has left. Holy Spirit have left. Anointing left. Dignity left. Wisdom left. The, the, thing, the, the only thing that was now left, that was remaining was confusion. And you know the story? That was how he lost everything. He lost his eyes. He lost his spiritual power. He lost his anointing. He lost his freedom. He became a prisoner of war. Prisoner of war. Us are the same. You won't know the sin that you will commit. And spirit husband will jump inside of you. 
and and something will tell you, I mean, no, I will collect prayer point and cast it out. But let me tell you, that thing may take five years of your life. You have to be visiting deliverance center. And you know, that's why I, th I like the deliverance people in MFF. You know, they will only be calling prayer point. You are the one that will pray it. Abby, did they pray for you? No. They say, oh yeah, pray, 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 pray. They themselves are not praying, you know. You are the one that we pray. You are the one that we pray. You don't know the prayer, the, the, the sin we commit. And demon will jump inside that person. And demon will now be living inside the person. And you can't sleep. You can't wake up. You need to go and find out. that There are people today. If they knew that committing this particular sin. Anyone who is watching pornography, you may not know, demons are already living inside of you. Because it is all demonic. It's all filthy. And you know Satan will be where, where there is filthiness. You don't know the sin you will commit. And it will become a liability in your life. It become, I've, I've seen people, just one thing like this, took five years of their lives before they could ever come out of it, before they could ever be free. And, and in some cases, they, they may never be free. They may never be free. And then you start dreaming, see yourself in, in, in all kinds of places you, you never could imagine. You never can imagine. You start seeing yourself holding it in, in the hair just because of one sin. Sin is bad. Sin is the reason there will be judgment. If God doesn't judge sin, no, 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 no. It, by his righteousness, sin must be judged. That's why the Bible says the wage of sin is dead. He said, all are sin and have come short of the glory of God. Look at our word today. God said, look, for everyone who came to this world, this is the remedy for sin. Say, my son came to redeem you. You said, no, 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 no. It's too simple. It's too, I, I don't understand. But that is it. But that is it. So this morning, if you are here, and you are living in any particular sin, you better cry to God to deliver you. Maybe you are a gambler. Maybe you are a drunkard. There are people, they are, they, 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 they so master sin that they are deceiving themselves. Many, many years ago, there were three prayers that make so much meaning to me when it comes to deliverance prayer. You know, most of these, most of these prayers are prayers that our Father and the Lord himself, you know, wrote them in person. Those prayers. One of them says, deliver me from the sin. I tell myself. It's a very powerful prayer. There are people, they are deceiving themselves. And the numbers are multiplying in the house of God. People that are deceiving themselves. And, and at the end of the day, you cannot deceive God. They're deceiving themselves. Uh, pretending to be who they are not. They are deceiving themselves. Number two says, deliver me from the sin. From, deliver me from the lies others are telling me. That's prayers. Deliver me from the lie that I tell myself. You know, some people are telling themselves, I am this, whereas they are not. 
But uh, now there are another prayer says, Deliver me from the lies others are telling me. You know, many people look at you, they don't know you. They think you are this. Meanwhile, you are not. They think you are this. Meanwhile, you are not. I'm aware that there are many husbands that come to this church. Anytime they see their, their wives in the church pray, they say, eh? This will this devil woman. See, as I too. There are women, and they see their husband all of a sudden. Hey, is this is not this man. And I suddenly become spiritual man. Let's close our eyes. If you are here this morning, you are saying, please pray for me. I want to begin this journey with Christ. I want to give my life to Christ. I want to be born again. It is beautiful to be born again. It is pleasant to be born again. It is a joy to be born again. It is good to be born again. Brother, sister, if you are not born again, you don't know what you are missing. Jesus is the real thing. Any life outside Christ is a useless life. Wherever you are this morning, please pray for me. I want to be born again. Rise up on your feet. I want to pray for you. God bless you. Say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, Forgive me all my sins and cleanse me. Write my names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for all your children. Circumcise their heart. Change their lives. And give them a new beginning. In the name of Jesus. Help your children. In the name of Jesus. Hold your children. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shall we rise up on our feet? Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to Thee. My song every day, Father, draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, nearer to Thee. Oh Lord, my song every day. Jesus, destroy the desire for sin and for unrighteousness in my life. The blood of Jesus, destroy the desire for sin and unrighteousness in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. And for righteousness, destroy them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, destroy them, Lord. Sevenfold amen. Say thank you, Jesus. 
Let the titles dance to the altar, please. lift it up as we pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you. The God who has never failed, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for provision. We thank you for protection. We thank you for all that you have been doing for us. Mighty Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree upon the tithe of your children. Mighty Father, sanctify it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for your children that any filthy garment that has been placed upon anyone, let your fire, let it remove it in the name of Jesus. Any generational sin, any self-imposed sin, any ancestral sin that Satan is accusing you of in the name that is above every other name, by your mercy, let it be blotted out in the name of Jesus. I cover your tithes with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, our wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I will sing my own song. I will dance my own dance. The Lord has given me a garment of praise. I will praise him forevermore. I will sing, I will sing my own song. I will dance all my own dance. Hey, the Lord has given me a garment I will praise, I will praise him forevermore. Let's lift up our offering. Our Lord and our God, we thank you. The mighty man in battle, we thank you. We return all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration to you. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray upon the offering of your children. Father, Use it to open their heaven this week in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree upon your children that all their hanging blessings this very week, let it be released to them in the name of Jesus. I cover your offering with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, our wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus, 
Shout it loud, hallelujah. A miracle receiving, hallelujah. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, wherever you are seated, could you please signify by raising your hand? If today is your first time, please kindly wave your hands wherever you are seated. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. God bless you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Today is second Sunday. And every second Sunday, we normally take a welfare offering to take care of the less privileged ones amongst us. So let's lift up our welfare offering. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this offering. The God who has never failed, we thank you. Mighty Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we are meeting the needs of the less privileged ones, Mighty Father, meet us at the point of our only truth in the name of Jesus. I cover the welfare offering with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. A miracle receiving amen. Join us tomorrow for another edition of Command the Morning, 6.30 in the morning to 7.45 in the morning.
Tuesday is our Bible study, 4.30 p.m. Every Wednesday is Mana Water, 4.30 p.m. And we should not forget, as our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, has announced to us that on the 22nd and 23rd of this month is special Mana Water Service. 22nd and 23rd, especially 23rd. It is 23rd, 3rd, 2023. It is very, very important. It is a unique day. It is a day that you must not miss. And the time is 4.30 p.m. God bless you as you come in the name of Jesus. Every Tuesday and Wednesday is deliverance program. And on both days, we meet at 3.30 in the afternoon. Participants are to come fasting and dress decently. Pregnant sisters should not forget their prayer immediately after the grace at their usual stand. Mountain top daily devotional, open heavens, daily fire, MFM diary, all these are available at the bookstand. You can go there and pick any one of your choice. Our third service is pure deliverance service. In case you are here, you need deliverance prayers. You can always find your way back to the auditorium by the time our third service will commence. Praise the name of the Lord. The last manna water message is a continuation of the message preached by Father and the Lord, the General Overseer, which is also connecting to the God of prescription. The message is available. This is part two. You can pick it up at the book stand. And the message delivered by Father and the Lord this morning, which is titled Prayer That May Not Be Answered. You can get all this at the book stand. The elders should not forget their meeting on Tuesday. And if you are here, you are 60 years and above, you can also join them in this elders program. Praise the name of the Lord. Next Sunday is Happy Home Sunday. If you have questions on marriage, you can forward it to their WhatsApp line. And by the grace of God, next Sunday, it will be treated. Praise the name of the Lord. If you have been blessed in this service, can you shout a loudest hallelujah? Amen. 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 Now let's bring out our building offering as we lift it up. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for this building offering. The God who has never failed, we glorify you. Mighty Father, sanctify it. I cover the building offering with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. School of Counseling and Peace Studies as resumed at Suit 2, Shop 48, LSDPZ, Exit, Penn Cinema, opposite Women Development Center. Their lecture days are on Saturdays and Sundays. Saturday, 9 o'clock in the morning, and Sunday is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Praise the name of the Lord. School of Spiritual Gifts, School of Spiritual Gifts and Discovery is also is also in section, and they normally have their lectures at MFM Ogba Regional Headquarters. For more details, you can see the ministers. School of Biblical Studies has also resumed. School of Deliverance has also all the schools in MFM. They have resumed. In case you want to attend any of the school and you don't know how to go about it, you can see any of the ministers. They will tell you what to do or who to see to obtain your form. Praise the Lord. Shall we please rise? Let's close our eyes. Same. Parental sins. 
Can you shout it out again? The Bible says that for our fathers have sinned and the children, they are the one bearing the iniquity. Say parental sins. That is delaying my manifestation. Blood of Jesus. Touch me this morning in the name of Jesus. So we don't have the time when you hear the prayer, open your mouth and declare it loud. Say every curse of the elders operating in my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every curse of the elders operating in my life. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Every curse of the elders operating in my life. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, evil eyes of domestic witchcraft monitoring my life. In the name of Jesus, equal monitoring, eyes of domestic witchcraft, receive blindness in the name of Jesus, receive blindness in the name of Jesus, receive blindness in the name of Jesus, receive blindness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, I shall be unstoppable in the year 2023 by the power. In the blood of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. I shall be unstoppable in the year 2023 by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall be unstoppable in the year 2023 by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall be unstoppable in the year 2023 by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, anointed to excel in every area of my life. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. The anointed to excel in every area of my life. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointed to excel in every area of my life. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say contrary winds blowing against my land. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. You contrary wind blowing against my land. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. You contrary wind blowing against my land. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh God, rain the heavens. I pour blessings upon my life. Please say that prayer very well. Say, oh God, rain the heavens. I pour blessings upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, rain the heavens. I pour blessings upon my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, rain the heavens and pour blessings upon my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, rain the heaven and pour blessings upon my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, I move from rejection to acceptance by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I move from rejection to acceptance by the power in the blood of Jesus. I move from rejection to acceptance by the power 
In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Destroy. Anything in my life. That is distracting me. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Destroy. Anything in my life. That is distracting me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy anything in my life distracting me. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Destroy anything in my life distracting me. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say foundational battles. Waiting to attack me suddenly. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Foundation of battles. Waiting to attack me suddenly. Die in the name of Jesus. Foundation of battle. Waiting to attack me suddenly. Die in the name of Jesus. Foundation of battle. Waiting to attack me suddenly. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, anti breakthrough powers. Your backbone, lose your hold upon my life. Anti breakthrough power, I break your backbone, lose your hold upon my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Anti breakthrough power, I break your backbone, lose your power over my life. In the name of Jesus, anti breakthrough power, I break your backbone, lose your hold over my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say failure, failure. Poverty, poverty, sickness, sickness. you shall not be my identity. Say poverty, poverty. failure, sickness, you shall not be my identity. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Poverty, failure, sickness. You shall not be my identity in the name of Jesus. Poverty, failure, you shall not be my identity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, anointing to be greater than this. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing to be greater than this. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing to be greater than this. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointed to be greater than this. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointed to be greater than this. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointed to be greater than this. Fall upon me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Three more prayers. Please say this one and pray it. Use your hands. Say, I break every yoke of barrenness. Operating in my life. I break every yoke of barrenness. Operating in my life. In the name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it. Every yoke of barrenness. Financial barrenness. Spiritual barrenness. Marital barrenness. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, which cross sponsor infirmity. Try up. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Which cross sponsor infirmity. Try up in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft sponsored infirmity. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft sponsored infirmity. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft sponsored infirmity. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say deserved. And undeserved miracle. Say deserved. And undeserved miracle. Hear the word of the Lord. Appear. In the name of Jesus. 
undeserved and undeserved miracle. Hear the word of the Lord. Appear by fire in the name of Jesus. Deserved and undeserved miracles. Hear the word of the Lord. Appear. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And as you go, the Lord will go with you. You shall be a citadel blessing. The Almighty God will pour blessings upon you. In the name of Jesus. Your house shall be filled with joy. Your house shall be filled with blessing. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you are doing for a living, your business, your means of livelihood, I prophesy expansion, Amen. enlargement, Amen. success, Amen. breakthrough, Amen. increase, Amen. dominion Amen. upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You shall not be victim of wickedness. Amen. This election that is coming will not swallow you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. All your blessings that have been tied down shall be released. All your blessings in all the four corners of the hair shall be released. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And I pray for every person under the sound of my voice. Any kind of sickness that want to devour you, let it be devoured. Be healed of any sickness. Amen. Be healed of diabetes. Amen. Be healed of high blood pressure. Amen. Be healed of every pain. Amen. Let the Lord touch your body. Amen. Let the hour of darkness return back to self. Any sickness sponsored by witchcraft, be healed now. Amen. Every menstruation that has been stolen, be restored now. Amen. Every womb that has been bewitched, receive deliverance. Amen. Every hand that has been cast, receive deliverance. Amen. May you go places. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God keep you. Amen. God enrich you. Amen. God anoint you. Amen. God empower you. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Shall we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God. Sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. A loud amen. amen. For those who would like to be part of the deliverance today, there will be deliverance in the third service. Endeavor to be there if you would like to attend. Amen. Brother Tolu, Tolu Ni Alfred, if you are around, please see me before you go. Let us raise up your voice and shout a loud hallelujah.